Hey, John here. Thank you for joining me today as I check out the Miller Model 1891 shotgun. It's got three variations. Let me go with the deputy. And this is part of the Smoking Barrels DLC. It's the third and final weapon. A lever action shotgun, this one. So it does not have a scope. And it has its own unique type of ammo. Uh, to be honest, I'm not going to be worried about Class 1. We're in Yukon Valley. Uh, I'll grab some ammo just in case. In case I come across some, some ducks and, and decide to have a go at them. Better to be armed for them and not need it than to encounter some and have no way of taking them down. So apart from the Class 1, we then can go from Classes 4 all the way up to 9. So, um... I'm going to be looking for Grey Wolf, Caribou, Grizzly Bear, Moose, and Plains Bison. And yeah, I'll, I'll stock up, head out, and see what we can bag. Alright, well, it's not a very big bison, but I'm not going to be terribly picky because I can't call them. If I'm lucky, I'll stay like that because I need to be about. 50 meters away. We went down real quick. So you can see it holds three, three rounds instead of, I, I thought it would have two, but three's an extra shot, so that's that's nice. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. It's only a silver, but... Nice heart shot right there. Perfect heart shot. From just under 45 meters away. Happy with that, because like I said, bison I can't call. And combining an animal that you can't call with a weapon that needs to be very close range can be a real pain. So, now explain why it went down so quick. We might bag another one, just going for a lun or something to see how, how much damage this does using the slug. But, great start. If I'm lucky, this wolf will actually come and be, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Thanks, Mr. Wolf. Just like that. Terrible shot, that one. I left it way too... <laughs> yep, you die. we got here. Female. Oh god. One behind me. That wasn't a good shot. They flee now. Okay. So one might die of injuries later. Let's have a look. That's what I was actually hoping for with the Grey Wolves was that they'll get aggro to me and come up to me because I gotta be within like 25 meters of them. Often I find they just catch wind of me and then just flee so I was actually quite happy to spook them into to uh, coming at me. Alright, a nice tidy little heart shot for this female. I think this one I shot twice. Yeah, that first shot was shocking. I left it way too late, but just missed the heart on the second shot. And then this one, hopefully a nice gold. Yep. Gold and got the heart. Nice. Also got the hind leg. But 
Colt happy with that. What was that? 12 meters away? Yeah. Yeah. That's one good thing. With a shotgun is ideal for close range, so the animal, an animal like a wolf attacking you is for me better than a rifle, uh, being armed with a rifle because with the rifle if you've got your scope on and that it's kind of hard to get a clear shot. I normally have to switch over to something like a pistol but having the shotgun without a scope it's actually quite useful. I want to get much closer. Especially you can flee. Ah. You hit a f fucking female. God, I knew that would happen. In the heart. Not even aiming for you. <laughs> Not even aiming for you. Right. Thank you. Let's try. I've had rotten luck. Yay! There's taken me countless attempts to get a, a good shot at one of these big caribou. Every other time I have come here, it's either surrounded by females or it just stands in the worst spot. Let's see how it did. Double lung. God, it's just a. Uh, Relatively low scoring gold. Certainly not my biggest, but nice gold. Happy with the double lun. Instant death. That's using the slug. Finally. My plan had been to carry on and hunt moose and bear. Or m moose and bears, I should say. Or a bear. Whatever. Anyway, that's not happening. I am done. I am done with this shotgun. Uh, like I said, that's taken me about 50 minutes of having a backup save and just coming to the spot and trying it again. It took me 45 minutes just to find an actual male caribou before that. Uh, everywhere I went, there was just females. Nothing but females. Like this shit. Uh, and so, yeah, I was, I was pleased to finally find two here. But, yeah, I am done with this shotgun. In case you didn't realize, I do not like this weapon at all. Uh, the biggest problem I'm having is the lack of a scope. Without a scope, I'm just useless with this thing. My accuracy is terrible. And the zeroing perk does not help at all. You look at the zeroing perk, and for a weapon that has about 50 meters range, the zeroing perk is 150, 150, so two of them are just like completely useless. And then of course the problem as well is... I think that's a four, looks quite small. The, the problem is, you're not within 50 meters. Thanks female, you're perfect at that. Because you're not within 50 meters, maybe you're 35 meters away, maybe you're, you're 30. So the Zero Perk's accuracy is just horrific. I'd like to demonstrate it on this one. See? Total miss. It's just, yeah, to me it's it's like, I mean, I, I actually wanted to turn off the zeroing perk, but um, you can't do that anymore. I guess one of the latest patches removed that ability. You used to be able to enable and disable it 
Often I would disable it for bow hunting because I found that the Zerium perk actually messed up my shots. Like I sort of had my own little system. But um, so having a Zerium perk that actually messes up your shots is just horrible with this. Because yeah, you can take something down from 50 meters away, but even with the size of something like a caribou, you're taking such a pot shot at it, it's so hard without a scope to actually work out where the hell you're aiming. So, um, it, it just does not help you whatsoever. Um, the only, only time I would recommend the, the Miller model over just any other shotgun is, uh, if you're going out and you might get attacked by wolves or buffalo. That'd be the only time having it with slugs would be, well, slugs for the buffalo would be, would be handy because you wouldn't have to worry about your scope messing up your shots. You wouldn't have to try and unequip the scope on the fly. That's the only situation where, like, when that pack of wolves came at me, that's exactly what I wanted. It, it made it, like, um, pretty easy to take them down. But, any long range, well I say long range, but any any actual sort of uh, animal that will flee from you, it's such a nightmare. And I know some people love that challenge, like don't get me wrong, I, I certainly get the appeal of shotgun and bow hunting. I've gone out bow hunting in that a few times, but it's more of a set up a blind, call in your animal, and shoot it, rather than try try and spot it and and go go after it i mean that's the thing i i just prefer rifles so much more to to shotguns and bows for that reason if i could see an animal you know 120 meters away with a perfectly clear shot at the heart i can just get down pull out the rifle and and go for it boom done instead it in this case, I'd have to go back here. I'd have to hope the wind was in my favor. I'd have to crawl up to being on top of the animal without it spooking and then take a shot. It's just, to me, so much extra work. Uh, and, and hence, I get the challenge. People enjoying that, definitely. But um, that's it. The Miller, even the extra round, having three in the chamber, I don't really give a crap. It might be good for, for duck hunting or something like that, but... I just, uh, I, I just don't, don't enjoy it at all. It was a bit of a disappointing weapon to end on with the, the smoking barrels. I'd rather use the Hudzik because at least it had some kind of a scope. You know, the slow loading time wasn't really a big deal to me because the, ideally you shoot your animal dead on the first shot. But the the Miller model is is completely useless to me. The Iwaniak is basically just an Eckers with a couple small little perks. So, um, really, on the whole, I, I don't know if I would bother buying the Smoking Barrel set. Uh, like I said, you've got the Hudzik, which is alright. Uh, uh, just a slightly better version of the Eckers. And a garbage shotgun, you know, sorry, I shouldn't say garbage, but for me, not being able to slap a scope on it just made that hunt there of the caribou, yeah, that took me 50 minutes, that should have taken, like, less than 10, even with a shotgun, because normally I'd have a scope and I could see what the hell I was doing, um, so yeah, yep, sorry to end on such a negative note, but you spend 50 minutes trying to shoot one fucking animal, you kind of get over it, so... Yeah, next time, well that's all the DLC weapons, there's a rifle that unlocked in Cartro, um, I think it was Cartro, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it unlocked through, um, stream mission, so I might check that out, pretty sure it was in Cartro, we'll just have to see, uh, what I come out with next time. So until then, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.